Charles Babbage He is the father of computer He was born on December 26, 1791, in London His father's name was Benjamin Babbage and mother's name was Betsy Plumley Babbage Charles was one of the four children born to Benjamin Babbage, who is a banker and merchant the Babbage family was wealthy Charles received much of his early education from private tutors In 1810, he entered Trinity College at Cambridge University There he found that he knew more about mathematics than his instructors In 1814, the same year of Babbage's graduation from Cambridge same year, he married Georgiana Whitmore They had eight children together, but only three lived beyond childhood After his graduation, he lectured on astronomy at the Royal Institution and in 1816 was elected a Fellow of the Royal Society In 1820, he helped to establish the Astronomical Society in 1822, Babbage began work on his difference engine That machine was capable of performing mathematical calculations At the time numerical tables were calculated by humans, which resulted in high error rates in the tables they produced His first prototype, which was not finished during Babbage's lifetime was composed of 25,000 parts and would have weighed around 15 tons A second prototype was also designed by Babbage The London Science Museum constructed the machine from Babbage's original plans in 1991 It performed its first calculation at the Science Museum, London returning results to 31 digits Babbage then began work on a more advanced machine known as the analytical engine This machine can be programmed through a series of hole-punched cards and intended to use several techniques that are still used in modern computing In 1838 he invented the pilot, a metal frame in front of locomotives that clears the tracks of obstacles and designed a dynamometer car that would record the progress of the locomotive Babbage also invented an ophthalmoscope, which is used in eye examinations Charles Babbage died on October 18, 1871, at the age of 79 Perhaps it would be better for science that all criticism should be avowed," said Charles Babbage